In today's senior style, the seven things every senior citizen should have ready in case of an emergency. Older adults are particularly vulnerable to medical emergencies, an accident, disease, bout with the flu, or even a fall can have serious consequences. During the emergency, you may not be able to speak or remember important information that family members or healthcare providers definitely need to know. Our senior style contributor Gail Morgan from Splendido joins us now with those seven important things. And this is really, really important because it's so true. So many times paramedics get to a scene, the person is unconscious, they don't know a lot of stuff and it can be life-saving. Absolutely. Okay, so thing number one? Thing number one, have in a handy spot a variety of things that a paramedic or someone in an emergency could grab. Start with your physicians, their names and their contact information. Oftentimes when you're transported to the emergency room, they will immediately contact those physicians for background information that is so important. Second, start with any medical condition, or third, second, go with any medical conditions you may have, whether it's heart disease, whether you may have dementia, diabetes, any medical condition because that truly impacts the treatment from the emergency arrival. So what those paramedics may do all the way through the emergency room. So any conditions, along with that, it's very important that you list allergies. Es oh yes. Especially if they're Medications. medication allergies mm -hmm. because that can take a bad situation and turn it worse if okay. they you know, accidentally use a medication you're allergic to. Okay. So include those always. All right. Also, the next thing is, uh, now did you mention that it's so important to have names and phone numbers of the emergency contacts? Yes, okay. because, and right. well, I didn't mention it, but that would be a great third item, is the emergency contacts for you and your pets or your children, or anyone living with you that you're responsible for. So many times we see a senior who is taken out in an emergency and there's the, the dog or the cat. So prearrange mm -hmm. who will take care of your pets and have that emergency information. Sometimes we see, say, to keep a list on the refrigerator. A lot of the emergency technicians will look to the refrigerator. So keep a list and that says they will take that with you to the hospital and then the people at the hospital will be able to contact them for you. And you mentioned about the allergies to medications, but also mm -hmm. a list of the current medications that you're taking. That is as important as the medical conditions, yeah. what medications you're on and the dosages. And don't don't forget supplements because supplements can also Absolutely. impact medication. Absolutely. So it list those as well. An advanced health care directive. Yes, if you have a uh, advanced health care directive, which means you do not want to be resuscitated or put on life saving equipment also a medical power of attorney so that if you're not able to make these decisions for yourself they know who to contact to make those medical decisions and finally a last will or living trust yes you don't necessarily need this to transport with you but make sure someone knows where your last will or trust is and make sure it's current all those important papers absolutely thank you so much Gail. thank you all right on the consumer